Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Beko DFN 04C 11W dishwasher. And what I want to do is to show you around the dishwasher, some of the features and benefits that it offers, and why it's a dishwasher that we sell very well. So I've got it plugged in, let's have a look. So the dishwasher itself is a 13 place setting dishwasher, and the dimensions on it are 60 centimeters wide, 60 centimeters deep, and 85 centimeters high. So a fairly standard dimension for a freestanding dishwasher, but nevertheless, I'd still recommend checking the dimensions of the space you've got before you order the dishwasher. So I'll just show you the control panel, and as you can see on this model, it doesn't have a display. On some models, as you go further up in the range, then it has a display on it, but for some people, they're not too fussed. They just want a nice, simple machine to operate. And first of all, on the left-hand side here, you've got the control dial and you've got four programs listed here and I'll just cover what they do. So first of all you've got the Eco 50 program and on that one the, the duration on that is about 210 minutes and that uses 11 and a half litres of water. Uh, that's mainly a program if you're not too in a hurry but you want something that's energy efficient then we recommend using that one. The next program is the intensive 70 degree wash so it is at a higher temperature. Uh, the duration on that one's around 120 minutes. So, and that uses about 17 and a half liters of water. So it does use more water in that program, and also the amount of energy it uses is more. And that's mainly if if you wash things like your your pots and pans on a Sunday roast, uh, things that are quite greasy. Uh, the next one is called Clean and Shine. And with this one, it's a 65 degree program. And that's normally quite a good program for like, everyday use. And that one is 120 minutes as well. Um, and that uses just over 16 liters of water. So that's a pretty good one for, for an everyday wash. And then the next one, which is the mini, mini 35 degree wash. I have to get down there to see which one it was. And with that one, that's a much quicker program. It's only a 30 minute program, and that uses about 11, just over 11 liters of water. Uh, but for that one, that's mainly if you're washing uh, lightly soiled items. So I know for some people, they will mainly use that program, uh, but that's mainly used for lightly soiled items or uh, freshening things up, for example. But really for most people, I'd probably recommend that as a as the main program, if you're if you're after something that's uh, like where you're in a hurry, or if you're not too in a hurry, then that program is the main one to go for because it is a lot more energy efficient. So the next things to point out: first of all, you've got the indicators on here, and that shows you the rinse and salt needs filling. Uh, clearly, this is a brand new dishwasher, so I've, I've not put those in yet. You've also got a half load option and that can reduce the clearly the amount of water, electricity, and also the time is reduced as well. And to the right of the half-low button, you've got the start and stop button. And with that, as it says, once you've selected the program you want, just press start. What you can do is if you realize you've selected the wrong program, press and hold that for three seconds and it just cancels the program. And on the dishwasher, because you've not got a display, then just here on towards the right of the start and stop button you've got a progress indicator so that it, it is a very uh, useful feature because at least you know roughly where in the wash it is so if you are waiting to go out for example if you want to switch it off then if it's in the drying process then at least you know you can hang on until the wash is finished I'll show you inside now and to open the door it's a nice big handle and it's nice and easy to get hold of so if you do suffer with your hands, if you've got things like arthritis, then it's a, a nice easy grip handle to open the door. And as we go inside, you can see that you've got the, the top rack. And on this model, then it's very easily laid out. Uh, I do like the design of these. And first of all, on the left hand side here, you've got this uh, that you can either take out if you don't want to use it. This, this will mainly be used for things like long knives or the some of the little espresso cups and it's the same on the right hand side here that what you can do is you can put those down so if you have got small items underneath 
then this is a, just a, another option. And then as you go towards the bottom, so in the bottom rack, you've actually got the, the four hair, so these are actually all separate. What you can do is you can actually fold all of these down. And all you do is you just push those down like that and it creates a nice flat area. And what you've also got is the cutlery basket. Um, this is a fairly standard type of cutlery basket, uh, but what I do like, and quite a few manufacturers are doing this, it's not just Beko, is the design of this. Is, is an excellent design and it's a very simple thing but what you can do is you can put it anywhere at the bottom of the dishwasher. On quite a few older dishwashers or some of the very very cheap ones then you have to put it in a certain place but at least by doing that then it doesn't matter where it goes. So as you can see it has got the full stainless steel interior uh, which is quite rare on machines of this sort of price. Uh, I must admit Beko have really treated us to this and I'm pleased that when I first saw this machine that it has got the full stainless interior. Uh, it is a much better option than some of the plastic interiors that some manufacturers use. And when it comes to maintaining the dishwasher, you've got the filter just here. So all you do is you just take that out every now and then, just give it a rinse under a tap and then just pop it back in. So all you want to do is make sure that's nice and clean and then to put that back in, just locate at the bottom and then twist. On the left hand side here, you've got the salt. Uh, I always point it out, but make sure you use proper dishwasher salt. We have had a couple of customers that you've normal, use normal table salt and it doesn't look after the machine like normal dishwasher salt. And just in the door here, this is where you pop the tablet uh, or the little gel pouch, whichever you use. And to the right of that, you've got the rinse aid. So that's nice and easy to fill there. So as far as the energy consumption on this one, it is a very energy efficient dishwasher considering the price. It is an A plus energy rating. And also as far as the noise level, it's only 49 decibels when it's working. And if you are comparing it to other dishwashers, then actually that's really good. I know for most people looking around the back of the appliance isn't that exciting, but when I do my videos, I always try and show around the back because for some people, if you're installing it, then it can be quite important. First of all, you do get a new hose with the appliance. And as with pretty much all dishwashers, they're cold fill only. So that's connected at the bottom. If you did find you needed to use a longer hose, then it's easy to disconnect and to connect a new one at the bottom there. Also, the waste hose is right in the middle. Um, because of this channel, then it can mean connecting it and pushing it quite a way back to the wall is a lot easier. The mains is just next to the waist, so it's just on the left hand side there. So everything is pretty much in the middle, which normally makes installation a lot easier. If you're thinking of buying one of these dishwashers, then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, click subscribe, leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad about the video, or even if you've got one of these dishwashers or thinking about buying one, then let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.